Hello, everybody, and welcome back to It's Cosplay Time. As always, I am Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Zoom underscore 2028. I am Katie. I almost called myself Bronze. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, uh, the R6 Hostage. <laughs> uh, my name is Milky Wall. <laughs> uh, I'm a cosplayer and TikToker. Hi. <laughs> All right, first question. How did you find out about TikTok? Oh, okay. Um, I actually had TikTok for a while, but I was one of those kids that was like, I'm not going to make TikToks. That's cringe. <laughs> um, I went to a convention. Um, it was in Japan, and I went as Ella. And I was not expecting to find any other R6 cosplayers because well, it was like an anime convention. Uh, and I saw this glass and I was like, oh my gosh, what? I go over and I say hi and he was like, yeah, there's a whole group of us. Uh, so I like waited around and that's when I met uh, Main Man Mute, I met Star Fox, I met like a bunch of people, I met Sipple. And uh, they kind of made me start a TikTok because they were just like, oh my god, you should do it, you should do it. And so finally I caved and I made my first TikTok and it actually got like really popular. Um, at first, like first TikTok popular, you know? And uh, like since then I just kept making TikToks, kept like improving on my cosplays, uh, started posting some like out of cosplay stuff. And yeah, that's my, my lore, it's my origin story. <laughs> and here we all are today. Oh yeah. <laughs> but no, I like I honestly owe starting TikTok to like all of those people. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't meet them. Most likely. I don't know. Past me, how we feeling? <laughs> he says no. <laughs> <coughs> oh, ow. Uh <laughs> don't mind me. When did you first start cosplaying? Oh, when I was a kid, actually. My my first ever anime um, was My Mermaid Melody Pitchy Pitchy Pitch. <laughs> I was like 10. Uh, and I grew up watching Ghibli movies. I actually have a Studio Ghibli tattoo. Um, like They were like my favorite thing growing up. And when I was like 14, uh, me and my friends had like a little Vocaloid group. And, uh, I, my first, first convention cosplay, I was Aloise Trancy from Black Butler. Yeah. And then, uh, I, I mostly, like, did, like, gender bend cosplays, or, like, I cosplayed guys at first, because my height, like, in comparison to my friends. And then later I switched to, like, video game cosplays, like, I have my Dead by Daylight cosplay, my obviously my Sage cosplay and that's kind of like the timeline of my cosplays but it really all just started with like some weeb shit back in the day honestly I think we all start that way oh yeah most likely most everyone I met like started out as like a furry or something and I'm like bro I, me just not uh Itachi from Naruto <laughs> Back in 20... 2008, I think it was. Really? That's crazy. No, like my first cosplay was actually Belle. From yeah. Beauty and the Beast? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. In high school, I was in that musical. Bruh. I was, um, I was the village, the village ho. <laughs> uh, villager number five. I had a solo line. Hey. So, that's where I get my charisma from. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just because I'm loud. And they were like, mm, we don't have to put a mic on her. So, I feel like, that. They were just like, hell yeah. And I could sing in French. And they were like, hell yeah. <laughs> this one. They were like, oh, yeah. You. My first musical was uh, Adam's Family, and I almost got Wednesday, but I was too tall compared to the Morticia, so it didn't work. And I was a freshman, so they they don't normally cast freshmen as lead roles. I would have gotten, like, I already got bullied so bad for almost getting that role, 
And so if I if I did get it, I can't even imagine people would have been like, oh, head. yes. I just walked in there and I was like, hmm, Wednesday Adams. <laughs> and they were like, uh huh. You have a little goth pale child come up on stage. Of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna <laughs> want her to be in that musical, right? Yeah. High school theater was weird. We I didn't regret have it. that. Really. All right. Favorite characters to cosplay as. Uh, she's a fan favorite, not like my favorite favorite. I do enjoy cosplaying her though, but uh, I like my Zero too. I'm really proud of it. I haven't posted much of her, but uh, the suit is really difficult to get into because it's like actual latex. So, uh, mm-hmm. her and then I want to say mm, Zero Two and Lady Dimitrescu are my faves because. I feel the most confident in them, I feel like. That's my personal opinion. I feel like everybody mostly likes the Rainbow Six. So I'm working on more. You see, that's that's the R6 curse. You start oh, yeah. doing R6 content, and they, people only want the R6 people content. only want it. I'll post, like, myself, like, normally, and people are like, no. Where's Ella? Literally, <laughs> and I'm like... Or, just, or uh, outside of Siege content, just doesn't do well on TikTok, yeah. like, when once you've started Siege. Mm-hmm. It feels like I'm like shadow banned. I'm like until you do siege oh, stuff. Guys, I have other cosplays too. <laughs> Please check out my other cosplays. There are some some creators that have like gotten their way out of that curse though. That's only because they go into the big ones. They go into the My Hero Academia and like the big. Uh, I want to do a Dang and Rampa cosplay, but I don't want to be a Dang and Rampa cosplayer. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I understand uh, that. That is another curse, is, like, cosplaying from, like, popular shows like that, especially the ones with, like, cursed fan bases. Because I was a Homestuck cosplayer, so don't get me wrong, I know cursed fan bases. That is the most cursed fan base. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, I want to do another Homestuck cosplay. And then I, like, think to myself, I'm like, do I have the mental, like, fortitude to put up with that fandom again? No. Frankly, no. I don't. But it's not going to stop me. I'm probably still going to do it. <laughs> yes. Because I remember, it's like, funny. Homestuck cosplayers used to show up at, like, a, the YouTube convention VidCon. And I'm just like, why are you here? This isn't a really cosplay would. convention. Do you remember the one who bathed in Sharpie? Like, oh, bruh. Iconic. Yeah. I think that's pretty funny. Ah, yes, let me bathe in the toxic fumes. Oh my gosh. Didn't they have to go to the hospital? I think they did. I'm pretty yes. sure. Yes. Because you would, you would need, like, a skin bleaching, I would think, to get skin that stuff bleaching, off. Skin um, bleaching. There was uh, the fumes, the toxic fumes. Because they mixed it with, it like, fun. isopropyl alcohol, didn't they? I think they mixed it with, like, rubbing alcohol. Yeah. That sounds painful. Oh my yeah. gosh. Imagine. Ooh. Terrifying. Gotta get that perfect cosplay, you know? Gotta get. <laughs> they really, they were just like, mmm, kitty moment. <laughs> but... mm, Sharpie, uh, body paint, or Sharpie? Let me go with the toxic one. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I mean, body paint's annoying, but come on, so are hospital bills. Like, I should know. Mm. Can't relate. <laughs> Next question. Hostage. Yes, oh, I was like mid vape. <laughs> um, you, do you have any comfort characters? Not even ice cosplays, just characters you find comfort in. I do. I have a couple. Um, my favorite character ever is uh, not ever ever, but like my comfort character is Hanako from Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, the little ghost boy. Hmm. Love him. Love him. He's precious. I like him because, uh, one, for the same personality type. You know, like, the Myers-Briggs test? The, like, MBTI? So I got mm-hmm. ENTP, which means I'm a terrible person. No, I'm kidding. But he has the same personality type, and also his, like, background 
like he has like heart problems and so i just like him and he's funny and he's the art style is so pretty um so i'd say that's like one of my comfort characters i also like um any studio ghibli film is very comforting to me Howl from house moving castle love him <laughs> he's the reason my standards are so high <laughs> but i watched those movies so much growing up that like I literally even got a tattoo of it, so I feel like like it was very comforting to me as a child. So like now as an adult, I still find comfort in like rewatching the movie or seeing cosplays of it. It makes me really happy. I'm like, that's sick. What is your favorite convention to go to? I like San Japan because it brings back a lot of memories. Uh, I've like been going to San Japan for years now. Uh, I actually just got my tickets for for September. Bro, I bought mine when they first went on sale. Really? So I'm gonna be there. I still need to figure out my lineup. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. But what is this? Indeed. Oh, indeed. I was like, Uraraka? Just, no, Uraraka, just, but just Tachanka replacement. <laughs> just. <laughs> you just start floating. Ascend. You, have to do a My you must go where the angles are. I want to do a My Hero cosplay. I want to do Momo. <gasps> yes! I, I look the most like her. Uh, and the height like, works too. Yes, the height. She's she's pretty she, fucking tall. I'm like, she's a baddie. She's a she baddie. Is. And her hero suit. Legsy. <laughs> Bro, I did I did the lazy one. I did fat gum. Fat gum. Fat gum is great. Fat Back when I was bigger, boy, I did fat gum. Fat gum is iconic. He Love. is. Love. Like, uh, I hope uh, our like group does end up branching out to like other cosplays like we can do more group cosplays because i feel like i don't know the only thing about my hero is like sometimes the fan base they're scary man they're scary yeah i have scary con experiences i got kidnapped like by uh you know free like the anime with the swords there's a haru cosplayer and i was cosplaying you know from future diary and man straight picked me up and carried me, like, uh, like to a different room in the convention. And I was like, <coughs> oh, this is where I die. I was like, what? Oh, I need an adult. And then I had a, a furry, um, like, sneak up behind me and scare me. And then another one, like, honked his paw at me. And they have it on video. And I was like. Yeah, so I, I got punched in the face by a Deku cosplayer, but then again, that was my fault. I scared him. <laughs> I literally walked behind him and went like, Deku! And it went, BAM! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> uh, I've had too many people at conventions ask me to step on them. Bruh. Look at them be like $5. Uh, yeah, I will. Next time I'll be like... Make some bank out of that. Money. Five dollars. <laughs> Ten dollars, I'll step on your throat. (laughs) Ten dollars, and you won't be able to talk again. You know, just, just saying, it's a good deal. I know. Like I had my my ass grabbed, like double double fist fingers dig in. Oh no! (laughs) I've been groped too many times, and I I will hit back. I will like do it. Mm -mm. Do it. Go there. uh, Hit them, and then go to security. I I worked as volunteer. I tell girls all the time. Like at especially my con, I'm like, come find me, find anyone with a badge, go to security. But come, it's it, scary. it it is, it is, it really is. Like cosplay is not consent. Mm-mm. And I'm 19, and I've been cosplaying for a while, so a lot of it happened when I was like 16, which Ugh. is like e- even worse. Yeah, because people don't realize like not only is cosplay not consent, but also you don't know the age of the person underneath. No. even if the character is of age. It doesn't mean you don't who's know. wearing it is. You don't no. know them. Like, you can get a whole felony. Yeah, because I, I met a Momo cosplayer 
actually at my convention and she had the, she she had the all, all the assets and i was like dang kind of start talking to her and she was like yeah my mom's here i was like your mom what she was like yeah i was like how old are you like i started panicking now and she was like i'm 13 i was like you were like huh <laughs> here's my coat here's my like cover up sweetie please <laughs> Literally, I had her covered up until we had we got some creepy dude out of the convention, and I was like, "Okay, you're free to go." <laughs> Literally, it's so scary. It is. I Other than that, cons are fun. Because yeah, I know in, in LA, at least there's a, there's a few photographers that are on like the the con ban list. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. You don't know how many times I've been asked to go back to people's hotel rooms. No. For photo shoots, and I'm like. No, fam. No. I'm the type of person I'll be like, cash first. I want to see cash first for the photo shoot and then never show up. Be like, sorry, I lost direction. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I couldn't find your hotel room. My bad. My bad. Yeah, but, th- but thanks for the pizza. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh, here's a good tip, too. If anyone ever tries to get... Oh, hold on, you're cutting out. You're glitching. Back to them. Say it wrong. If they say yes, if they say yes, oh, I'm not new. Uh, they give you a number. Always, always ask and say it back like wrong. Like switch up a digit. Digit. If they confirm it, they're not really paying attention, and they they might be just trying to get a hold of you. You know. Here's... So just. It's always. All right. Uh, who's turn is it to ask a question now? Um, was it yours? I think, what was the question before? Favorite con. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that, that was it's mine. It's mine. Yeah. yeah. What is your favorite anime as of this moment? Um, I just finished Wonder Egg Priority. Oh, I still have to finish that one. I really like it. Uh, I want to say my favorite and an- oh, my favorite anime, favorite anime, comfort anime, the whole shebang. I turned my light on brighter, so um, laid back camp. It is a uh, C G D C T anime. Cute girls doing cute things. Ooh. My favorite genre. Favorite genre. It's immaculate. Love it. And I'll it's have just cute girls going camping and making camp food and like having the freaking time of their lives. And that that is what I want to see, you know? I would watch that show when I'm sad, when I'm happy. Just they're camping. Perfect. Love it. And then uh I also really like sports anime. So I my camera is shaking. I really like sports anime, so I just finished uh, Crokinole Basket. Very good. So I'd say Crokinole Basket and Laid Back Camp are my two faves at this moment. Way of the House Husband was pretty good. It was. It was so good. I, like, simped for that Yakuza, man. (laughs) Like, she... I need me a house husband. Man, there's also a uh, live action version that has more episodes. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. That's cool. <laughs> the sauce, please. <laughs> the sauce. Kirby is making his debut. Oh hell yeah, Kirby! The, there's Jerry. <laughs> pineapple. Oh. Got nothing. Oh wait, <laughs> got nothing. I got a bear. It's the bear bear. I got a bunch of bears. I love this bear. I also have... um, (laughs) I have this long boy. Oh my god. I need him. He's so lanky. (laughs) My favorite. I like... I squeeze him in my sleep so he's a little like... Skinny in the middle. A little strangled. He gets you know, curves, you know. He's pretty cursed. <laughs> but yeah, no, those are my two favorite animes right now. It's gonna change in the future. 
My oh, favorite yeah. anime has always changed. I'm not wearing shoes, so hopefully, uh, <laughs> I don't me have neither. Accidental feet reveals. <laughs> I sit in my chair weird. I sit like this. That's fair. It's comfortable. It's just. That's... I normally slap squat. Slap <laughs> squat. Yeah. As you should. It's yeah. comfortable, but I'll, I'm wearing pajama bottoms underneath, and people don't need to see that. Bro, I'm wearing pineapple yeah. shorts. That's fair. Next question? Zoom? Yeah, hold on. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? <laughs> what is your favorite and your least favorite thing about cosplay? Uh, my favorite part of it is shape-shifting. I have identity crises, crises on the daily, on the reg. I feel like... So, like, sometimes I don't want to be perceived as myself. <sighs> and so I just, like, put on a cosplay. There you go, I'm a different person. Nobody needs to know. Not me. I don't know who it is. But I like, no, I like shape-shifting. I like being able to, like, take on different roles, take on different, like, characters. Um, especially when you do it successfully, it gives you, like, a really, like, good feeling. Like, you feel very accomplished. My least favorite part uh, is that it's very exhausting. I personally have no stamina. Um, I'm a homebody. Like, I stay at home, stay in bed. I don't like doing too much or moving around too much. Uh, so sometimes after, like, a night of filming TikToks, like, I have to take a day off because I'm so tired. My body, like, is just like, no. And, like, I feel like it's a double-edged sword because it makes me feel better. You know, it is very healing and it helps. But at the same time, it takes a lot of energy and, like, a lot of, like, I don't know. Sometimes, too, especially when... um like people want you to film something you have to be in the mood to get into cosplay in order to enjoy it if you're throwing on a cosplay because somebody else wants you to or because you need to make content then it's like it's work it becomes a task you know but doing it of your own volition doing it when you want to is like it it feels good you know what i mean so i would say it's fun but it's also tiring you know well, that's me personally. I feel like everybody has their own, like, experiences with cosplay in itself. And so, don't take, like, one person's experience as a whole to represent everybody else's. That's just me. I feel like it's exhausting sometimes. Yeah, that's why I, I film all my videos in, like, one day and then not do it for, like, a month. I got 75 drafts. Oh, I have 300 drafts. Bruh. No, I gotta, I gotta get back into cosplay, and it's just... It's tedious. It really yeah. is. Yeah, and I'm a perfectionist. Oof, I feel that. So it's, it's really hard. If, uh, if I don't like a way a certain piece of my cosplay looks, I will simply delete the video and not film it again until I fix that piece of the cosplay. Mm. So I have a diva cosplay, but I'm waiting until I finish my painting my gun and my headset before I make any TikToks with it. Yes. If I know, even if I do just get into the cosplay, like, I'm not going to be happy with it, you know, until everything is, like, put together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel... Mm. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> my brain's just kind of stopped. <laughs> it's been a long day for me. Um, what type of video game, video games would you play on sh like streaming? Uh, I I love horror games. They are my favorite. Ooh. Anything scary is like so fun to me. I just, I just enjoy take it. the money. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, when Resident Evil Extraction comes out. Ooh, no, no, wait, not I'm Resident Evil. Up. Rainbow I'm Six. Like, I'm gonna stream, um, R6 Extraction, I feel like. Why did I say Resident Evil? Because Resident Evil 8. Yeah. 
Resi 8. Resi 8 was good. I beat it in one day. <laughs> a lot of people said that. It was, like, really easy to beat. It, like, you could do it at one, easy. like, one sit-in. That's what I mean by easy. It's, it's like, not that it was easy. It's just that I, like, did not step away from my computer for an entire day. I played with my brother as well. And we both had the same reaction when that baby came out. Yeah. That ugly ass baby. Like, I was watching other streamers play it, and they were, like, freaked out by it. But when it came out, like, me and my brother had the same reaction. We were just like, ew. Yeah. <laughs> Curb stomp. <laughs> it was like, ugh. Like, it wasn't so much scary as it was gross. I've never seen any gameplay of Resident Evil. Really? Really. It's... The graphics I've... were so good in 8. Just yeah, like, I've seen oh gosh. seven. I have well, I should never seen any of eight. I've I've played through all of seven. Seven was okay. I liked it, but like mm-hmm. eight, all all I see is just Lady Dim- D- Dimitri. I can never say her name. Dimitrescu. Dimitri. D- yeah, I get no. The list is not let me. <laughs> Big titty vampire mommy. Yeah, I'm just gonna call her vampire mommy from now on. Vampire mommy. She's... But that's all I've seen. Yeah, literally. That's like that was what the game was hyped for. Yep. Pretty much. And then like she's not in it as much as people expected she was going to be. They know what to do. They know how well, to. Well, I think they they expected her to kind of be in it, be in it as much as like a uh, nemesis or like Mr. X was. Yeah. No, cuz she wasn't the main boss. Uh, yeah. It's not even at fault of the like developers like the resi 8 devs like it's not their fault it was Other people. people hyped it up yeah it was like the fan base and like the community that hyped her up so much yeah. that they disappointed themselves yes you know i feel like it's it's not like the devs fault necessarily i feel like it was just like overhyped by fans yeah the devs just ran with it they're like you know what like free publicity yeah yeah. Yeah. I think like <laughs> the only real Resident Evil game I've actually played is was Operation Raccoon City. Never heard of it. Because it was it was a PS2 game. Uh, ah. Why? We're both just like oh. Or no, or or was it Xbox? Boomer. It might have been 360. Boomer. <laughs> I can't say much. I'm probably the same age as you. Am I the baby? Yeah. Probably. I'm in my 20s. I'm 19. 22. 24. Ha! Boomer! Ha! Boomer! <laughs> boomer moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, my turn for question. Yeah, I gotta put my flashlight on so there's better light. There we go. Now it's like serial killer vibes. Let's go. Uh, what is your current favorite cosplay that you do? I gotta fix the brightness. Zero two. I hit my buzzer. Zero two. Zero two. Answer locked. It's buzzer. Phone falls. Not again. Next question. Next question. I sounded like Carl Weezer. Timmy's mom. Timmy's mom. Oh God. There we go. I turned the brightness down on my phone, so it should be better. But I just blinded myself. Thanks. Right. My nose is itchy. It is your turn, hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Uh. No, I thought it was yours, or unless you already asked. He did. Oh it's my. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, uh, ha, ha. <laughs> mm. I don't have a question right now. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll ask another while you think of one. Okay, thank you. What is a cosplay that you would want to do in the future if money was not an issue? Ooh, Samus, but not Zero Suit Samus. Full armor Samus. Yes. And then I'm gonna do Bayonetta. Yes. Period. I mean, Bayonetta's 
not as difficult as like full armor Samus would be. So, yeah. I mean, I if you think... if you want to make Samus, like I could help you when if we get a bunch of like EVA foam. Please. It just I would need you to measure measure it because I'm not good at measuring. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. You're moving, aren't you, over here? Yeah, in, uh, I think, August. Hell yeah. I'm bringing my heat gun. Crying. I'm work gonna on. go to the <laughs> Cries in Canadian. Man, I hate it here. <laughs> you need to take the trip south. Oh, don't worry. I plan on that. Me I'm and south. Casanova. I'm well, south. I'll be going with Casanova. I have a bruise. No, not a bruise. I had an IV in my arm. And my vein just like said no. <laughs> it hurts. I can like feel it. <sighs> Bro, do you ever do you ever get like that feeling like like right after the tattoo is healed where the tattoo's still a little like raised? Yeah. I get that. Like when I had this, like mine felt like bumpy for a while. It's completely healed though, which is good. Yeah. It's just pink in your skin. That's it. Yeah, same with the new uh, R6 one I got. It, it's just like I can st I can still feel that it's like it's not it's healed, but it's not not like flat against the skin. It's kind of like a uh, a scar that sticks out. Yeah, my first tattoo was a rib tattoo, so. Bruh. I'm getting uh, more though. I'm getting a spider tattoo. Getting a collarbone tattoo, so people can stop asking about the friggin' scar on my collarbone. I'm getting a spine tattoo. Hell yeah. You, you, you go into all the painful tattoo areas. Oh yeah, yes. pretty much. Uh, my tattoo artist was like, are you sure you want your first tattoo on your rib cage?" And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, right there. To be That's honest, you get the most painful one so that everyone else, everything else is just like... He called me a sociopath because I, I just sat there. I was like... Why a sociopath? They would technically be more of a massive. Yeah, that's the word. Bro, that's how I sit. That's how I sit for all my tattoos. Just pod, like at earbuds in, listening to podcasts, just sitting there looking at the ceiling. Oh, my tattoo artist played Waka Flocka Flame. We were just uh, fighting. We were like Waka Waka Waka. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it was funny. Oh, memories. My best friend came with me, and she kept trying to make me laugh, and my tattoo artist kept getting mad at her. <gasps> yeah. He was like, "Don't make her laugh," and my best friend was like, <laughs> Doing the faces, you know, making it even worse. I was like, stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of getting like a very like ar like artistically stylized like Tachanka on my calf. Ooh. Ooh. And then may maybe the Mandalorian symbol on my other one. Got to keep got to keep each limb a theme. Yes, true. true. I'm just getting. Uh... Yeah, I have one, like, my tattoo is already, like, anime-related, technically, so I'm gonna keep that theme going a little bit. I'm getting the spider from Hunter x Hunter, and then I'm getting uh, a quote in Japanese down my spine. Oh. Hmm. Cute, because I'm a bad bitch. You just gotta make a picture, you give them the correct symbols for the uh, Japanese one. I speak Japanese, so it should be pretty easy. <laughs> Chicken I'll, like, fried I'll, like, rice. With my aunt, though. My aunt's, my aunt's from Japan. My uncle's from Japan. So I'll like message I'll, them. And be like, hey. I'll check with them and be like, yo, is this right? Because I'm about to get it on my body. <laughs> you get it? Just this water bottle. <laughs> yeah. It says like um, like some like ramen instructions down my back. <laughs> Oh like, man! Do not place in microwave. Boil for three minutes. <laughs> oh man! I go to Japan. They're just like, okay. All right, we boil for three minutes. Yeah, they're like, yeah. <laughs> I come with instructions. <laughs> they're gonna be like, who is this tall, tall woman? And they see my back, and they're just like, ah, she's ramen. <laughs> it's all ramen. All ramen. Everything you know is ramen. Everything yeah. you love is ramen. Even the, the cake world. is ramen. <laughs> the cake is a lie. The cake is the cake Dude, is ramen. portal, but um, the cake was always just a cup of top ramen. Oh, <laughs> imagine just yes. 
okay. changes the whole the whole point of the game. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I miss uh, just just that, that one uh, Gundam set that's just a top ra- like a cup ramen. <laughs> it just transforms. Nope, it doesn't transform. It's just you just build a plastic cup of ramen. Mood. If I can't put ramen in and eat it out of it, I don't want it. Now I'm gonna have ramen tonight. Same. I have Mr. Noodles in my cupboard. I'm so excited. Eggs. Oh <laughs> no, I haven't. But you should. They're so good. So, like, uh, I worked at a Vietnamese restaurant, uh, but we also served ramen. It was, like, we had every food, essentially. So we also served ramen. Um, my boss would marinate the eggs in, like, this, like, soy sauce mixture. So the outside of the eggs were brown. And they were soft-boiled eggs. So, like, they were, like, Squishy. soft on the inside. They're so good. That's, like, I my love- favorite. I had, like, the best pork ramen. Like, they they put, like, two pork ribs in it, too. Ooh. Chashu pork. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like tonkatsu ramen. Creamy tonkatsu. And I like miso. I've had too much ramen in my day. Yeah. Cut among, among, among cultured. Just Mr. Noodles. Kettle. Hot water. This pack. Done. Done. No. Well, I've worked in two Asian restaurants. Uh, That's fair. Just because they were right next to my house. And I was in high school, so I needed a job. That's fair. My last one closed down. It got bought out by a dim sum place. Maybe I should work at the dim, <laughs> dim sum. Dim sum fuck? It's so specific. <laughs> like, what demand is there for dim sum? That's my question. I don't know. Like, how many people are just, like, sitting there and they're like, you know what I want? Dim sum. To be honest, something new, you know. Oh, that mm-hmm. sounds really new. Let's go. But, like, <laughs> white people. <laughs> the, the cream of some young guy. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so specific. I feel like it'll also, people will get bored of it really quickly. Yeah. You never know. I, I feel like those, those restaurants, like, they never last long because they kind of become, like, a trend restaurant and then it's over. And then once the trend dies down, everyone's just like, yeah, we're done. I don't know. Bye. <laughs> yeah, literally. So I'm going to work at the sushi place near my house. Hell yeah. Everyone I loves like sushi. sushi. I love sushi. The other I, thing is I have to wear a wig when I work. I'm fine I with sushi, but I prefer, like, beef or chicken. <laughs> have you seen Pop Team Epic? <gasps> yes. Beef or chicken? <laughs> beef or chicken. Beef or chicken? Beef. That show. I've only seen clips and I'm so mad. It's so funny. It's so funny. Uh, I, that show and Osumatsu san are like the top two, like, just like dumb anime that I've seen and genuinely enjoyed. I was just like, that's so funny. I, I watched the 18 plus anime. <laughs> <laughs> you watch what? The 18 plus anime. Uh, Papa, H- Papa HH is back. Hmm? Papa HH. Oh. Yes. <laughs> They've been back for a while, hasn't they? Yeah, there's like. I'm gonna. What? I don't know about that. Oh. Yeah, they. Yeah, no. they. HH has been back for a while. Like 2016. 2017. Yeah, I totally didn't know that. I'm a degenerate. I don't even care. I'm gonna say it. I like uh, my mutuals. Will what see hostage? Me up you a like, degen from up country? My what? Will see me in TikTok degen comments. from up country? Yeah. My mutuals will see me in TikTok comments asking for the sauce, and they're just like Milky Way, and I'm like, Is he, Oh no, no, not <laughs> me! No, sorry, my brother had my account. My yeah, yeah, my brother was on my phone. My bro- yeah, my bad. Oh, I have no shame. I'd be like, yeah, what's it to you? Yeah, I'm trying to get some time. <laughs> uh, I, I would get bullied. No. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, my when... room is so hot. Oh, open a window. I see your fan go in, though. Yeah. Hey, at, at least you can have a fan on that doesn't mess with your mic. Huh? <laughs> my fan's quiet. Yeah. I, I still look cross-eyed. It's because of the way you're looking at your phone. I promise. 
I see you trying to catch your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I do have like a kind of lazy eye. Like if you watch my TikToks, you'll see like this eye does go in more. But, like I feel it mine. I can do that on command and it's weird. Me too. Bro, I have different eyelids for each eye. <laughs> like they're just like really? why? One's like one's like this and one's like more this. <laughs> oh, I have really hooded eyelids. Like, you can't see my eyelids. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because of the makeup? <laughs> no, even without the makeup, I can't see my eyelids. I feel it. I got that, That's too. That's why I have to do my eyeliner so, like, extra. It's because if I do, like, a normal line, it looks weird. It looks, like, wonky. I have, like, super, like, deep-set hooded eyes. Mm. The Mexican jeans, I guess. <laughs> I know. That's one thing. People, like, bully me on TikTok for my eyes and also for the way my mouth is shaped it's cute like what the fuck they're just, like they're like they're like do you have a cleft lip and i'm like no it's because it goes like this it's just a permanent smile <laughs> but, like, i'm like I get so many weird comments about it. I know. They like to pick, like, they go for, like, the smallest detail and they're like, that. That is what we're going after. That, I don't like it. And I'm like, the amount of comments I get, too, on my nose ring being crooked. And I'm like, that's what happens with the with nose rings. Yeah. They don't stay in one place. They move <sighs> around. I've seen this video where someone can breathe their nose, wing, nose, nose ring in and it tucks inside and it's hilarious. No piercings on the job. Okay. Yeah, that's what I had to do when I was working. It was frustrating. I'd say. I need to crack my fingers. Oh, don't mention that. Now I gotta crack mine. Bro, just doing like the Tokyo Ghoul finger crack thing. Yeah, the little... What's what's 65 times 10? Crack. I hate it. Alright, I got a question. How many tattoos do you have? Just the one. I have 18 piercings, though. <laughs> nice. I have one, my tongue, two, I have my nose, I have a bunch on my ears, and my belly button, and... Oh! <laughs> oh. It's a secret! Your toenails. <laughs> got it. Toenails pierced. <laughs> I've seen I've seen people with their toenails pierced. Oh, I'm like, uh, and I was like, why? Uh huh. Bro, what one yank on that toenail piercing, and it's e it's either splitting your nail or it's ripping it out. I wore platform shoes for like seven hours one time, and I had like my toenails were completely bruised. Oh. Terrible. I, I need high heels so I feel tall. Ooh, I have oh, some too. Typo. My baby, I, love I have this. I have two cat ones. <laughs> Luckily, I am sitting I am sitting in front of all the the waifu statues I have. In all of her glory, uh, I can't I can't fully oh, can't fully turn her because of uh, <laughs> uh -huh. she's she's very detailed. I have a uh... all she's wearing is the sweater. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh my god, she's adorable. Alright, I think there's one. Where is it? Oh, wait, no, the shelf is higher than the camera. Never mind. <laughs> I have one that's on a cat post. And she's, like, in the whole cat made outfit. Perfect. I have a cat made outfit. I have, I have cat ears. All same. Oh, those are cute. What the fuck? Thank you. They're very Aww. cute. I would get mine, but they're on the floor, and I'm too lazy. <laughs> These sit above my desk. I used to have it, but, like, I was wearing them last night. <laughs> and I fell asleep with them on a... It turned out I tossed them in my sleep. Oh. <laughs> Did you yeet? Literally, yeet. it woke me up because of the bells. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I was like, we're under attack. Where's my cat ears? Oh, man. 
How many questions do we have? Uh, let me see how many I have left. Um, um, um. Oh. oh, I can turn her. Maybe, maybe I can get away with it. This, there we go. This is how revealing she is. <laughs> <laughs> Very revealing. I think yeah. I have six questions left. And I'll come as I it will come as I go in my head. <laughs> All the questions are up here. <laughs> we got more questions, so I get more smokes. <laughs> I read it. This makes me want to go get some food, but I'm lazy. Uh, it's now a mukbang. I would, but I'm I'm like wired into my computer right now with my I hear my earbuds. Well, I could just I could just go like this in peace. Mine are, they're routed up through like the head. Oh, rip! Lunch. Is it my turn for question or? Any is there anything new on TikTok that? You, that you want to announce. No, not really. I'm just chilling. Just making content. Um, mm, me and um, Clover are going to do um, Resident Evil 8 cosplay together next time we hang out. So, look forward to that. It's going to be fun. That's new. <laughs> it's pretty new, but that's about it. Other than that, bro, I want to do. I want to do cosplay Heisenberg so bad. Do it. My friend cosplays Heisenberg. My friend I Shire. See. I met her on TikTok. Uh, I met them on TikTok. Um, and so we do a good Heisenberg. I just gotta like figure out the facial hair thing. That's yeah, drawn on. That's all. <laughs> That's what I do. I just draw a beard on. But yeah. I should totally do a TikTok after. A question. How would you encourage people to get out of a burn, like, a creator burnout? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm uh, still in it. <laughs> honestly, I just give myself time. Like, if you rush content, it's not going to turn out the way you want it to. I literally just, like, I will laze around. I'll go about my, my real life, you know, and just, like, set it aside for a minute. Look at it objectively. You'll have days where, like, you hate all of your content, and you'll, like, look through it, and you'll be like, I don't like this. Like, I don't like what my, my page is doing. I don't like my videos. And then you'll have other days where you're, like, really confident about it, you know? Yeah. But it's just about, like, getting through the bad days and, like, you know, letting yourself take time to yourself. Because it does get overwhelming sometimes. Um, so, like, for me, I struggle with comparing myself to other creators, like, so badly. It's just, I just, that's something I personally, like, struggle with is, like, Seeing other people who either cosplay my characters or cosplay other characters or have successful, like, pages. Like, I'll look at that and I'll look at myself and I'll be like, but, like, am I doing everything I can, you know? Or, like, is my content really as good as I want it to be? And so, like, days like that, I just, like, put down my phone and I, I like, won't get on my phone. And I'll just back away for a little bit. Like... For me right now, I've been, I don't know, I've been in a period where I'm not, like, responding to anybody or, like, really, like, on my phone too much. So I'd say I'm, like, kind of in a slump. But honestly, like, you can't force yourself out of a slump or you can't force yourself to, like, stop being burned out. That's not how that works. Like, the more you force it, the worse the burnout's gonna get, you know? I just give myself, like, time to be alone to be like to like think about things like objectively and I feel like that really it really helps future me make more content you know 
Yeah. Hmm. Personally, uh, I still have like trouble like considering myself a content creator. Like my friends would be like, "Oh, you're famous," and I'm like, <laughs> "Nah, bro. I'm not." But like people, like my my friends will like comment on my videos and stuff like that. My like my IRL friends, and I yeah. kind of just get like, I'm like, mm. and I've had people from my school, like that I went to high school with, um. I've, like, since then, like, graduated. I'm, like, moving on with my life or whatever. But occasionally I'll, occasionally I'll see comments, and it's just like, oh, I went to high school with that chick. And I'm like, mm-hmm. And then those same people will, like, reach out to me and, like, message me and be like, hey, do you remember me? And I'm like, yeah, of course I did. You were mean to me in high school. <laughs> It's and always those, the ones that are mean to you. Yeah, and those same people are like, yeah, but you're hot now. Like, do you want to hang out sometime? And I'm like, no. No. You know? Yeah. So there's that, too. Like, it gets overwhelming when your personal life and your, like, hobby, like, clash so much. Yeah. It's hard because, like, I'm in a position where, like, I can't tell. I just can't tell if people genuinely want to talk to me again or like genuinely think I'm cool now or they just saw me on TikTok and decided to reach out because they saw me on TikTok you know yeah or they want your fame you know riding on I'm your coattails but like but you know what I mean hypothetically yeah it's frustrating I don't know mm -hmm. I know and it's like it's absolutely worse when someone comments on and it's like that that one person you never want to see again and you're like <sighs> i have my ex-boyfriend comment on one of my tiktoks something same really, something really oh. mean oh i made a tiktok joking about being crazy so like that's my whole thing it's like a yandere thing ah. yes <laughs> and so like uh i did a tiktok and it was like um oh you're not one of those crazy girls are you and then it was like the pose and then it turns into like a bunch of crazy anime girls, essentially. Oh, and yeah, my, that. My ex commented underneath and said, um, uh, based on personal experience, can confirm. And I was like... That <laughs> block! <laughs> and I talked to him about it. I was like, do you know how disrespectful that is? Like, I haven't talked to you in months. I've left you alone. Like, we have not been in contact. Yeah. But things like you know, that bother me. Like, people in my real life like like showing up on tiktok and yeah I'm like, I'm like please like i had my dad message on one of my tiktoks I was really like, yeah I, I literally walked out out of my room and looked at him I was like you could have just told that to my face i'm right here because <laughs> it was literally hey go to the car and get something for me that's so funny I'm like, well, that's one way to get a hold of me. But, and, like, the whole thing is, like, people will say things, and they'll be like, oh, I was just joking, and I was like, joking. Didn't say my hit. That wasn't funny. Yeah. I don't know. I have had a lot of people, like, I did go to school with, though, message me, and I'm like, no. And they'll be like, oh, but you're kind of cute now. The weirdest one. That's why. I had a dude that I went to summer camp with when I was like 13. Nope. Oh. And I had like the biggest crush on him. Uh, thinking back, like he looks like Aaron Yeager. And so, <laughs> makes sense. Aaron uh, Yeager. 13 year old me was onto something. But like, yes. Uh, recently messaged me and was like, hey. And I was like, uh, Bro, I was in love with you when I was, like, 13, and you rejected me. And now you're gonna slide up and be all like, hey. No! No. <laughs> like staying away from stuff like that. And two, uh, every time I post a TikTok with, like, somebody, everyone's automatically like, oh, are you guys dating? And I'm like, <sighs> I can't have friends, dude? I know, right? <laughs> no, there, this is TikTok. There is no friends. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Shit, true. <laughs> there is only TikTok. <laughs> it's frustrating. Like, other than that, like, I feel like 
my burnout has been mostly like self-induced like just me tiring myself out Mm. but things like that definitely don't help you know yeah Oh, hell yeah. Um, are there any movies that you are looking forward to? I'm actually, like, deadly afraid of the movie theaters. I have been scared of movie theaters since I was a child. Same. I know. I simply don't watch movies. <laughs> if I do, they're on Netflix. But, like, even then, I'm not caught up on, like, new movies. I do want to see the Demon Slayer movie. It was it was good. I haven't seen it yet. No spoilers, boy. <laughs> Don't spoil it. Hostage, it's your turn for question. Ooh. Do you believe that you can find find love on TikTok? No. Nah, I don't believe I can find love, period. <laughs> I'm dating myself. <laughs> Fair. I am tired. Relationships are draining. They take a lot of effort, a lot of money, a lot of social skills. I have none of those. If I'm going to get married, It's gonna oh, fuck be yeah. no, I'm kidding. If I get married, it's gonna be for tax benefits. Me and my best friend have decided that if we're both single by our thirties, we get married for tax benefits. Uh, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. Marrying the waifu figure, that that's that's how you end up on a Google article. <laughs> no, some guys will be up I'm there. Sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> like, um, in all seriousness, though, uh, I got out of a serious relationship mm-hmm. uh, last year, a year ago, and I'm so focused. My health is very poor, so I'm, I'm focused more on, like, surviving yeah. than finding love, you know? Yeah. I, I do feel like other people who have found love on TikTok, like, it makes me happy to see it and like I do think that it exists and I do think like some people like truly find each other do I think it's an option for me at this very moment no I don't I I do think it's kind of dangerous though because it is kind of like the whole dynamic when like a youtuber decides to like date somebody that's a fan of them or it's like not famous yeah it's like that whole kind of like dangerous power dynamic yeah yeah, wasn't there, like, this Twitch show that literally would grab, like, famous YouTubers and Love be like, host. yes, that's the bitch! <laughs> I only watched it for my wife, uh, Minx. Justin mm. Minx. Love her. We're, like, the same person, too. She's just Irish. <laughs> that's the only difference. I scream equally as much. I am the same height as her. Uh, also mentally unstable. Perfect. 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 Now all you gotta do is stab the white claw with a knife. <laughs> yes. I have done that before. Oh, I, I can't even imagine how bad that hurt, because she, wasn't she wearing, like, a, like a white-out contacts also? Uh, yeah, because she was just as Naruto from... Or not Naruto, Hinata from Naruto. I'm oh, I, I cannot imagine, like, alcohol mixed with colored contacts. Rip. Oof. Oof. Ouch. Yeah. But I'm going to start streaming, hopefully, sometime soon. And then people can see me scream. So that's mostly what I do. I'm very loud. Very we aggressive. love screaming. People see my TikToks and they're like, oh. Oh, stop the woo. And then, welcome to the chaos zone, motherfucker. And then I'm just like, ah. That's a move. <laughs> Who has summoned me? Literally, I just, like, appear, and I'm, like... Just, just that meme of the uh, Barney statue in the forest. Oh, my God, cha-cha real smooth. 
God. <laughs> Posture just having an existential crisis. I always, I always am. All right. Do you collect anything? I collect teacups. Ooh. Oh, that's a door! Oh, oh my little that's crap. Me. Vintage teacups. I have like 12. Aww. Yes. A very cute hobby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then I, I collect those freaking bears. I have like 5 million of them. Those are so cute. I collect energy drink cans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle. <laughs> oh, bro. It's not monster energy, so uh, it's uh, rockstar fruit punch. Then there's this me with helmets. <laughs> yeah, you. I collect hats too, actually. <laughs> and I am the toxic one with Funko Pops. <laughs> Funko Pops. I don't, Funko I have Pops one Funko is. Pop, and it's of Sailor Moon. I have one. It's Osiris from Destiny 2. Bro, I have, I have over, like, 250. Bruh. I'm doing... I'm busy. Who knocked? I'm busy. Hello. <laughs> I feel that in my soul. I'm just like, bruh. Like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. My heart. My soul. My booty hole. <laughs> Literally. Uh, next question. Um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Uh, to go invisible. Not for any, like, pervy shit. Just to, like, get out of social situations. Just dip. Act like it's like teleportation lies. too. Just, I just I I'm out, and then the fade. Literally. and then I can cut in front of people on lines. Oh hell yeah! Sounds nice. Or uh, I would be a little. I would be a little shit. I would like purposely start poking people, and just fucking with them, make them think if they're we're crazy. Talking, like if we're talking like My Hero Academia superpowers, I've given it thought. Oh, uh, let's go. I would my my quirk would be like paper or something. Sounds really dumb, but like, how cool would it be if I could like make like origami and like attack? attack. With it? <gasps> oh, Yo, I, I think actually that's, that's had a like a uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Conan from Naruto. Huh? It, uh, she's like a blue haired Akatsuki member that can like turn her body into paper and stuff. Yeah, mine would be more like I do things with paper, or like I would make like paper dolls of people, and if I like rip off their arm, they rip off their arm. Oh, voodoo magic. Holy shit. Voodoo, voodoo. Voodoo. I am sensing some villain themes. You know? Same. I'm in my villain arc. I'm telling you. I'm feral. feral. You think I would be a good guy? Bruh. <laughs> no. It's always, cu- it's always the cute, wholesome ones that are the, the villains. I have the, the main character hair. My hair is hot pink. Yeah. I have the... Except for My Hero Academia, that yeah. could be anybody. E E G right. Is Look at this classroom. Who's the protagonist? Mm-hmm. Shit, uh, I don't all know. Of them. All of them except for Momo. All of them. She looks yeah. basic, but she's the best girl. But Momo and Uraraka look basic compared to everybody else. Yeah. You know who gives off most Ida. vibes? Ida looks so basic. Like, you leave Ida alone. He's like, ugh. And I'm like, oh. Oh, God. Bro, Ida cool. just doing that uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs run, just... Fuck, what? Literally. So funny. <laughs> I, I, admit, I, like, literally, I relate to Aizawa so much, though. Yeah. Same. Just, just in his sleeping bag, bro. Me. Just Same. the class is over. Get out. <laughs> He's just like I'm a hero. I'm a pro hero. Do I care about being a pro hero? Yeah. No. Yeah. Right, yeah. Then, then, there's, then there's that one pro hero that his powers just basically just gun. I love snipes. Gun. <laughs> That's literally gun. his power. 
<laughs> have you like, seen um <laughs> what was that people making memes about um like anime and they're like this anime and it's the book this anime if this character had a gun yeah oh my god yeah and i'm like literally oh bro best ability gun gun <laughs> i see i seen this one where it's talked about present mike being like very scared to use his power because of the children and the snipes just pulls up like boom 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 bitch <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he gives no fucks he's like Choo. Bro, like, I, I think I would I would just take Mount Lady's quirk, like be like I being able to be a lady. giant. She's Bro, I'd be I'll be sitting there and be like, yes, this is what it's like to be tall. <laughs> it's not that great, I promise you. Or like, or Endeavor's there. power. I like Endeavor's power pretty good too. <laughs> Yo, I sent for Endeavor. Imagine mm, if Endeavor. he gets his quirk erased though, and all of his like flamey mustache just goes away and he just looks Yes. Just, like, <laughs> it is weird. Or he's he's Basic just man. he's just muscle without his Flames. Literally, he is. Just, mm. I like. Is he, ah! is the only one who's still normal like, after Izawa like takes the quirk is this gun, the snipes. Gun. I like Sni- how this topic just turned to My Hero Academia. Yeah, yeah. My Hero Academia is good. But it's nice. Good. It's, it's, it's cringe, his... but it's good. It is. Yeah. The fan base is cringe. The anime is good. I hope they put more that. like. Um, I hope they put more like romance in it though. Yeah. They're like they're hinting at like Deku and Uraraka. But, like they haven't really shown any progression. I, th- I thought she liked Bakugo. What? I don't know. There were cer- there were certain certain scenes like I think during the first season where it looked like she she had, from, yeah. Yeah, I see, I see we're getting it. Like yeah. literally it's it's all it's all up in the air, man. It's just all it's all up there. Bro, that it's... that moment when uh, Naruto was supposed to be a yaoi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Butterfly effect. Yep. The no, here. no, they they originally the I think the creator actually said it was supposed to be, but then no. it, was, it wasn't the time. It was not the time. He he yeah. was too ahead. He was then, ahead of the time. Then they inserted useless ass Sakura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then just slap the wood honey honey la honey pe Thank you. I can't say words. Everyone wants me to do a Hinato cosplay. Oh, oh my nose is itchy. <laughs> We're all just like combusting. I don't know why I, I always choose like the tallest characters to cosplay, even though I am small. Small. I choose tall characters, but understandably so. Just because imagine me cosplaying a lolly. Do it. Giant lolly. JoJo. Do it. Jojo Siwa. I hate it. She's taller than me, and I want to ask. Like my height. <laughs> That's scary, man. It's great. Bro, no. She's like, Mom, come pick me up. All the kids are smaller than me. <laughs> Mom, come. Look at me in high school, though. Like people who would be like, "Oh, I have a crush on you." They're always like five foot one, and I was like, "Why?" Like, and then one time, I like I did date somebody shorter than me. And I went to meet their parents, and their mom was like, Damn. She disapproved. She was like, she's too tall. And I was like, it's like, hold on, sorry, let me just chop me fucking knees off, bye. Just fucking knees. I'll get leg shortening surgery in Mexico. Oh, these gloves. <laughs> Hand reveal. Ooh. Whoa. My hands are bony. <laughs> I have yaoi hands. Look how big they are. <laughs> I got baby hands. I got yeah. yaoi hands. <laughs> <laughs> the noises I make when I stretch sounds like I'm in pain. I'm just Mood. like, Ugh. Just, Ugh. I feel it. Austin, you've heard a lot of my stretching noises when I we game. <laughs> <laughs> just, I have a shirt on, but it's too hot. Okay. <sighs> Shoulder reveal. That's, uh, you're showing shoulder? Excuse shoulder. me. Shoulder. Excuse me, that is not allowed. I'm Harris. not on my Christian Minecraft server. I literally was just thinking that you beat me in a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I got a slap squat. I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> literally, there we go. Putting how I sit. I'm like... Hold on, let me just push my camera. Room. A buzz. There we go. Now I can sit comfy. 
Uh, I think I have two questions left. Uh, and one of the, and one is what is your favorite pizza place? And favorite type of pizza? Uh just cheese. Okay, can't argue with that. <laughs> just cheese. Best pizza place I've been to was in Costa Rica. Hmm. I don't even know the name, but I've been there four times. Mood. Uh, one time we went back to Costa Rica and stayed in the same place. One time we went back to Costa Rica and stayed in the same place just so we could eat at that pizza place. Huh. <laughs> it was that good. Yeah, I'm a little heathen. <laughs> I like my pineapple pizza. Oh, it's good. Pineapple, jalapeno, pepperoni. I do the Hawaiian. I'm a picky eater. That's fair. I I, I work at a nuggies. pizzeria, so I make a lot of pizzas. I get I'm some baby. weird combinations. I'm baby. Baby. Cheese pizza, chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets, top ramen, root beer. Yeah. And I'm a happy. I'm a happy lady. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Oh. Can't like, ask me. Uh, no. Like an <laughs> hour and a half. Fair enough. Next question. Hostage. What type of flavor vape is your favorite? Cola ice. Ooh. Tastes like Coca Cola. Ayo. Ayo. I get mint. Ooh, that's always a good one. When Literally. Jewel stopped making, like, the flavored pods. Oh, yeah. Out in America. <laughs> Socks. When, uh, when Jewel stopped making the flavored pods, I just started buying menthol. Pretty much. Oh. Yeah. But mint was always, like, my go-to. I feel it. I got, like, the biggest flex. I can vape through my nose. Ever done it with mint? It burns. It does, but once you once you train yourself with the mint, it does not bother you at all. So you can do it with anything else, and you're like, <laughs> it's it's my party trick. It's hilarious because people I like do a lot of tricks. I can ghost. I can do. I can't right I, now. But... Yeah, I can't ghost. I don't know how. Freaking fan. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> Adam. That's a mood. I learned actually how to do that. What's that? Wow. 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 The girl. She's just like. And the guy's just like. Wow. <laughs> I love that meme. It's so funny. My lips are too dry for this shit. <laughs> what is that? Fucking shoulder pads, man. Mm. I don't do that. Last time I did that, I actually tore my lip. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I rub aggressively. I was just like, Ugh. Uh, let's just see. Final question. Favorite video game of all time? Pikmin. Oh, my God, I love Pikmin. <laughs> Pikmin. Pikmin. One. Fuck, my name is dead. I hate it here. <laughs> I love Pikmin. That was one of the first games I played. Only but goody. I played that one game with the monkey that had the maracas. Um, uh, monkey ball? No, am Amigo something. It was like a beat game. Oh, okay, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. No. In all reality, though, I like horror games. I like the Outlast games. Outlast 1, Outlast 2. You should play Amnesia. You would love Amnesia. I love Amnesia. Yes. Um, I'm a horror game fan. What was, what was that light that just sounded? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a beep. <laughs> Something fell. Have you played Sama? No. Play it. I will. It's atmosphere horror, which is beautiful. What's that one indie game with the Wendigo? Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I know, I know. <laughs> Until Dawn has has. A... That's the one. That's the one. 
Continue Zoom. Uh, I think I'm I'm out of questions. Uh, now, what's up? Oh. It's, it's me. Yes. Uh, there's a question. Who would you like to see interviewed next? Main girl Clover. I think yeah, Clo I think Clover's already been on uh the show. Really? Hmm. You don't watch the show? <laughs> Tiger titty time. I have been trying. <laughs> I love her. Yeah. Tiger Spoons, and, um, Starfire? Uh, Spoons has already been on the show, too. Really? Yeah. Spoons. I was just messaging her about her skateboards. Oh! Because I want one. I was like, Spoons! Get Gib skateboard. Gib. Where do I get it? Gib gib gib. Good <laughs> skate apparently. So I want to get their zero two board. Mm. Mm. I'll stick with rollerblades. <laughs> I stole my little sister's rollerblades because I I'm finished them. Uncoordinated. Very uncoordinated. <laughs> yeah. All right. If we're all out of questions, it is time for the outro. Same as the intro, just with different words. Different words. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you for watching Cosplay Time. As always, I have been Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Zoom underscore 2028. I am Katie, or Hostage, as everyone calls me now. Uh, you can find me at TikTok, the R6 Hostage. I almost forgot my own tag. Ahaha. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not you all. <laughs> bye bye <laughs> thank you for watching and good night peace